Grip is absolutely everything. I mean, it means absolutely everything to me. It's my route to consistency, but enough about me. So Sebastian, who comes down here to Matcham Hall for lessons, he came to me, which probably sounds like you. Want a little bit more power, want a little bit more consistency and less curvature on his golf ball. Now he'd been thinking about path, been thinking about body, but I said to him, well, what controls the club face? It's grip, absolutely grip. So just look at this here. Like if I get the grip correct, look at this angle versus incorrect, look at this angle. Very powerful to weak. So if you think right now with a good grip, you're gonna have a much better chance of smacking this one away down the fairway. And look at the screen now with an inconsistent grip, which is probably where we are right now. A lot more curve, a lot shorter, a lot more inconsistent. Now it's not gonna be perfect every time, but I'm gonna show you some simple checkpoints you can take to the course today to improve your golf. Come on, let's get into it. Now this might sound silly, but, but stay with me. This is gonna give you a great feeling getting this club back in the fingers, which is absolutely paramount. I use my bag and I, and I said this, this to Sebastian, like if you're on the golf course and you lose what you've got in the lesson right now, put your bag flat on the ground like this. And if something's heavy, you would tend to pick it up in the fingers like I am here, right? That's how I'd pick it up. Now, if I put that right next to how I want to grip the golf club, well, it's exactly the same. And that feeling is a lot more attainable if you've got something a bit more like a day-to-day -day life thing. So your checkpoints are this. We want the club in the fingers. Come here, have a look at this. Look where I've now placed that club. That's totally different, right? That is what we want. Going back to what I said right at the start of the video was can I create this hinge and hold it? Well, really quite easily. And that is my source to power. Now your source to consistency is for me having two and a half knuckles and I'll show you sort of my player cam view so you can watch this video right now, replicate it and you've got two and a half knuckles showing. Then when you place your right hand on, you can see again, it's into the fingers. This gives you the best way of putting your hands on this club and your biggest route to consistency. Wow, it feels so much better that. Get round that corner. Now, look at this logically. I think about this. Your right hand's your power hand for a right-handed golfer because it's got those bending points and movement this way. This grip is your direction hand. So very, very important that we get two and a half knuckles, in my opinion, on this golf club for majority of golfers to really, really control this club. Now. A bit of an extra note here, you may see different grips on tour. Let's take John Ram, really quite weak in his grip. Look at Matt Fitzpatrick, new US Open champion, and by the way, what a shot. A little bit stronger, a little bit more knuckle showing. Now, the important thing is with grip, we have a grip to match our release. So, if you are a golfer with a weaker grip, you're gonna have to feel as though you get this action to really strengthen the club face and rotate more with the body. Maybe not achievable for all of us, right? Because we don't play golf all the time. So what I suggest is somewhere between Matt, somewhere between John Ram, two and a half knuckles, that allows us to be this way and a little bit of arms and body in the release. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you did enjoy it, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps me, helps the channel grow, and I wanna bring you more content all the time.